What's going on everyone? It is Joe the Lawnmower and this lawnmower right here, this is the only thing it's good for. So let's get started. So it's 10 days post overseeding at my house and like I was saying in some of my earlier videos, this year I was in a good spot this year. I had probably 80 to 90 percent of my existing lawn. I did have some problem areas over here. I'm going to show you here in a second. But overall, the existing lawn was there. So we overseeded at a lower rate this year, about six pounds per 1,000. Again, it's 10 days. Normally, I, last year, I didn't cut until three weeks post seeding. Uh, this year, I, I threw down fertilizer on the day of seeding. I did one pound of N per 1,000 square feet. Um, aeration definitely helped. I could just, I could tell right out of the back doing a good aeration this year with the, uh, you know, the obviously the mechanical aerator that was a pain in the ass. I talked about that in my overseed process. That definitely helped. We have gotten a shit ton of rain in Jersey over the last two weeks. Uh, more, we've seen more rain in the last two weeks than we saw all summer, and that definitely helped. I I was able to back off my irrigation a lot, which was great. But I wanted to get out here today. I wanted to cut. The lawn was, you know, it was creeping up. It was getting pretty high, and which I expected because I threw down that pound of N. And the only good thing about this Toro lawnmower is instances like this one right here. So obviously this lawnmower right here is their 60 volt self-propelled. It is not the personal piece. As you can see at the top, it does not have the personal piece. I've talked about this mower before. I got this on clearance over the winter time for only 200 bucks. It was $250. And if you ask nicely, sometimes Home Depot will take $50 off for you. So that's what they did. They took $50 off for me. So I got this for $200. My son, he really likes this mower, but if you have a big yard, I do not recommend this lawn mower at all. Honestly, the only good thing about this mower is this time of the year. Uh, you know, when you put down new seed and you got seedlings and you have, you know, you're growing grass into your existing grass, or even those areas that are bare and you just got done seeding and you don't want to tear up that new grass. This lawn mower is super light, so you're not going to tear up anything. I'll show you here. There's a couple areas in my lawn where I've used commercial mowers before, and if you ever use big mowers before, you know that if you turn sharply with those mowers, you can make ruts or divots, things like that. And you can see here, if you just take wider turns, or even this lawnmower is so light that you can just pick it up, that way you're not tearing anything up. And that's what I did here today. Got out here with the 60 volt. It's trash day, so it's kind of convenient for me. I can put everything, I bagged everything today. I was able to put it in my trash can over here. I can throw it out the street to be picked up tomorrow morning. So that's what we did here today. And overall, I would say this lawn looks really great. It's filling in really nicely. There's a couple areas that um, I'm keeping an eye on and that I want to see how they do. I might throw down some seed in certain spots. Just probably some of it could be from washout because uh, like I said, we got a shit ton of rain and some of it was like some big heavy downpours. Um, but that peat moss did hold it pretty well in those certain areas. Um, the one area that I'm super impressed with is over here. So this area I am super impressed with. I dug a trench right here, starting right here, down to the edge of that fence down there. I put a sprinkler down there. I wanted to get better coverage of this area right here of my lawn. And this area is just filling in super nice. It's amazing how quick that Mountain View seed just germinates. Uh, it, it, I'm telling you, it, it germinated in four days again this year. Um, and obviously, you know, just because it just because it germinates in four days doesn't mean, you know, you're good to go. I mean, you still it's still a process. You know, you still got to trust that process. Keep it watered. Keep it going. Keep that seed moist. And, and eventually it's going to fill in, you know, growing grass by seed. It takes time. It's not instant. It's not sod. But as you can see, I mean, this area is just filled in really nicely and I'm, I'm, I'm super happy. And then finally, we got our quartz paved today, which is awesome. This black is just going to look so great next to this dark green that's filling in. Again, this was a trench as well. I put a sprinkler along here and it's just filling in again real nicely. So I'm like I said, I mean, I'm super impressed. I mean, I, I was impressed last year with the Mountain View seed. Um, I just know that. <laughs> Probably in a couple weeks, we're getting pool work done and they're probably gonna be using that gate that's over here. So I'm curious to see how well this is gonna hold up. And you know, they're gonna be tracking in and out of this area right here a lot. So they said they're gonna put stuff down. 
so we'll see i mean <laughs> there's gonna be more to come on that so if you're gonna be interested i hope if you are not subscribed you subscribe for that as well because it's gonna be interesting to see how some of this new seed because a lot of this area over here where the fence is the gate is new seed so i'm very curious to see how well it holds up if i'm gonna have to do a spring seeding or what i'm gonna try and you know stay on top of it they're, they, they have to rip out concrete so i know that they're gonna have to get you know uh trucks or buggies back there and to get the concrete out and then put new cement in so it's gonna be interesting process you know so follow along i'm gonna show you guys the pool and all and how it, we're so happy about this pool project we've been waiting for this that's like our last major project to our house it was a foreclosure and that pool was always a wild card but we finally got to get it taken care of new liner things like that new concrete so i'm follow along for that journey as well it's going to be interesting to see um, how that comes out how this comes out how this holds up so follow along and subscribe but back to the lawnmower now that toro 60 volt it's just it's slow i mean this is real speed right here of the toro 60 volt i mean it's super slow so if you want to get done and that like i said that doesn't have personal pace that is not the mower for you it's a slow speed um you could push it if you want and if you really if you're someone that likes pushing push lawn mowing that's fine you can push it you don't have to use self-propelled but i mean it does have self-propelled for a reason but it's limited to the speed that it goes this is the one thing i really hate about toro's uh bagging ability is because of the angle of the bagger i covered this in other videos you can go check them out i'll leave them linked below but with this bagger with this thing being so light this lawnmower being so light you can see i'll tilt this back and i'm just going to take it off just a little bit so you guys can see this here you can see the, the, the clippings, they love to hang up in this area and they don't really fully go all the way back. So I'm literally just picking this up. I'm gonna show it up into the camera here. I mean, you can kind of see how those clippings, they love to hang up in this area here as opposed to going back into that bagger more. Um, so again, I, it's one of the downfalls I think of the Toro brand is definitely the bagging ability. So that's pretty much it for today's video. Just a quick video, a little update on my overseas project. And really, honestly, the only good thing about this mower is what I just talked about. Um, and if you have little kids at home as well, my son, he really enjoys this. Whenever I tell him we're cutting the grass, he loves this thing. It's super light for him. Uh, so if you have little kids, maybe this is for them. Maybe this mower is just really for little kids. It's not really for adults. But um, so stay tuned. Like I said, subscribe, follow my journey for the rest of the overseas process this year for the fall 2022 season. And if you enjoyed today's video, make sure you smash that like button. It really does actually help out with the channel. And if you're interested in any of my other content, I'm available on Instagram. I'm available on TikTok. Go check me out there. And like always, guys, I'll see you in the next one.